Warner Brothers actor Ezra Miller appearing in Vermont Superior Court this morning, pleading guilty to trespassing in a Stanford home in May. The actor changing his plea after a new deal was reached by the state. News 10 ABC's Skylar Eagle has the latest on the case. Embattled Flash star Ezra Miller pleading guilty in Vermont Superior Court this morning to misdemeanor unlawful trespass. To that count here, how do you plead? Guilty. The charge was added by the state of Vermont in December. According to the plea deal obtained by News 10, it changes Miller's original plea of not guilty to felony burglary and misdemeanor petite larceny. Both of those charges were dropped as part of this plea deal. Police say Miller broke into a longtime friend's home and stole several bottles of alcohol in May of last year. Court documents obtained by News 10 said the homeowners identified Miller with security camera footage and told police they went into the home without permission. Miller was sentenced to 89 to 90 days suspended sentence, meaning he will not serve jail time, a $500 fine and one year of probation. Attorneys for the state of Vermont say this will allow Miller to continue their career and ongoing mental health treatment. Miller also agreed to 41 conditions as part of the plea deal, including no drinking during probation and random testing for drugs and alcohol, as well as an agreement to continue seeking mental health treatment. Judge McDonald Katie emphasizing the importance of mental health in today's court proceedings. All the conditions really are about um, mental health, um, substance free uh, living, and also no contact with Mr. Winokur. So that seems to be appropriate here. Miller's attorney releasing this statement shortly after the hearing, saying in part, quote, Ezra would like to thank the court and the community for their trust and patience throughout this process and would once again like to acknowledge the love and support they've received from their family and friends who continue to be a vital presence in their ongoing mental health. Reporting in Bennington, Skyler Eagle News 10, ABC.